loosely speaking, the mean value theorem says that if a function is continuous on a closed interval, which means it's defined at the endpoints, and differentiable on the open interval, then there's going to be at least one uh, value of x. So there's going to be at least one time where the instantaneous rate of change is equal to the average rate of change of the function over that interval. Geometrically, it means that, all right, this slope here, the slope of the, the, this line, f of b minus f of a over b minus a, uh, there's going to be some place in here where the tangent line, the slope of the, the tangent, is equal to the slope of this, which says that there's got to be at least one value of x here inside the interval a, b, not including a and b, I call it x star such that the derivative of the function at that point uh, equals the slope of the line that joins the, the, the endpoints. So this is how it's stated. Uh, in another weird way, it can be stated this way, that the total change of the function uh, from start to finish is equal to uh, the derivative at some point times the, the, uh, the distance between the endpoints. We're not going to use that right now, but it's going to pop up later uh, when we do in integration. So for any any differentiable function that you draw, this can be done. For example, here, I have another function that is uh, defined on the, that is continuous on the closed interval and differentiable on the open interval. So there has to be at least one spot where the derivative is equal to the slope of the uh, average rate of change. So the average rate of change is about here. And as you can see, there's, a, there's one spot, so there's one x star. And as I have it drawn, there happens to be two. Here's a, uh, another one. Here's the x star two. Um, it doesn't have to be two. There can be, uh, it, it just has to be at least one. What's important for you to know is the hypothesis of the mean value theorem. But the hi hypothesis is the function is continuous on the closed interval, and it's differentiable on the open interval. That's the condition for the theorem to apply. If either one of those conditions is violated, uh, it does not mean that there won't be such a point. It just means that it's not guaranteed by the theorem. For example, this thing here. This is a continuous function, but it's not differentiable everywhere inside here. Right? But yet, all right, here's the average of a rate change. However, that doesn't stop there from being a spot inside here where the slope is parallel. It's just not guaranteed by the theorem. Typical questions involving the mean value theorem are as such. Uh, they ask you, does this function satisfy the hypothesis of the mean value theorem on such and such an interval? I if so, what value is guaranteed to exist? If not, uh, why does the theorem not apply? We got this function here, uh, 2 radical x on the interval 0, 9. Uh, does this function satisfy the hypothesis of the theorem? And you say yes. Because it is a continuous function, and its derivative exists everywhere within the open interval 0, 9. As such, what's the value guaranteed to exist by the, the, the theorem? Well, first, we have to get uh, the slope of the line that joins the endpoints. So we need to do f of 9 minus f of 0, divided by 9 minus 0. You work that out, <coughs> uh, and it turns out to be uh, 2 thirds. All right, the slope of the line joining the endpoints is 2 thirds. Uh, therefore, there has to be some spot where the derivative of this function, which is 1 over 2 radical x, sorry, 1 over radical x, equals 2 thirds. Uh, and the answer has to be inside the interval 0, 9, the open interval. So it's a quick solve. You, you uh, solve this up, cross multiply, and then you square both sides, and you get x equals uh, 9 fourths. 9 fourths is certainly inside the intervals, so that's the uh, value guaranteed to exist. What about these functions over here? Uh, you got the absolute value function. Is this function continuous on this interval and differentiable on the open interval, minus 2, 3? The answer is no. It's a continuous function, sure, but it has a corner, right? It fails, the, the derivative fails to exist when x equals 1. So uh, the answer is no. The mean value theorem does not uh, apply to this function on this interval. What about this thing here? Uh, is it a continuous function on minus 1, 1? Sure, 2 thirds power, that's no problem. However, the derivative of this function, 2 thirds, uh, 
x is minus one third or two over three cube roots of x, which fails to exist at zero. So the derivative is undefined at a point inside this interval, and hence the theorem does not apply.